Developing tonight, police call Beaumont business owner Tom Flanagan a suspect in the Gilbert building arson. Good evening to you. I'm Jordan Williams. That historic building, which Flanagan owned, was destroyed by fire back in June. Today, armed with a search warrant, investigators raided his office at the San Jacinto building. We have live team coverage tonight. 12 News reporter Ebony Coleman is in front of the Gilbert building with a look at the past four months of developments. But first to Kayla Chote, live outside the San Jacinto building. Kayla, tell us what all you've witnessed firsthand today. Jordan, since 1030 this morning, I've seen dozens of law enforcement agents take stacks of boxes loaded with important documents out of the San Jacinto building. I really don't know what to think. When attorney David Grove pulled up to work at the San Jacinto building in downtown Beaumont, he was surprised to see a large police raid underway. I guess it's because of maybe the owner of the building is Tom Flanagan, but I don't know. As the day went on, van after van and truck after truck were loaded with boxes of files. Well, I don't know what those what was in the boxes, but I, you know, I was surprised to see them doing a, a search. The FBI, ATF, Jefferson County DA's office and Homeland Security assisted Beaumont Police and Fire Department as they conducted a search warrant. Agencies confirm that the raid is in connection to the Gilbert Building fire. The warrant being executed is in direct relation to the arson investigation of the multi-alarm fire, which occurred on June 6, 2024 at 328 Bowie, the Gilbert Building. In the search warrant, investigators allege that Flanagan hired someone to burn the Gilbert Building, as well as two other buildings on the same night in order to stretch fire resources. Investigators also say that Flanagan lied to them about his role in the fire while taking a polygraph test. In a statement, Flanagan denied setting the fire, writing in quote, let me be unequivocal. I was not involved, nor am I aware of any other person or people who may have been involved in the fire. We have more of a statement on our website, 12newsnow.com. For now, live in downtown Beaumont, Kayla Chote, 12 News.